Yorana. Hey guys, it's Lauren from It's the Kellys and Yorana is how you say hello in Tahitian because I am still in Tahiti right now and today I am going to be packing to go home. Now I really wanted to do an unpacking video when I got home but I thought this would be a little bit more interesting for you guys mainly because there's some stuff that I absolutely use that I could not live without. There's stuff that I did not use at all and there's stuff that I purchased along the way. So as I'm repacking to go home, I want to show you all of that and go over it with you as kind of a, what did I learn from packing for French Polynesia. But also I want to talk about the fact that checkout is going to be at 10 or 11 today and my flight doesn't leave until 9 p.m. So I'm gonna go to the airport at six, but that leaves a whole bunch of hours that I have to leave my luggage at the hotel and still go completely enjoy my day. So that's always a very interesting thing. So what we're gonna do today is pack, go over everything like I just said, but then also show you guys what I'm leaving out to enjoy my day and then pack it again later as I head to the airport. I had such an amazing time on all three islands. I can't wait to tell you guys all about it in another video. I think that this is a place that everybody should go to, but there's definitely a lot of stuff that you need to know that I learned and that I want to teach you. But for right now, let's pack to go home and enjoy the last day. Please make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you are not already. I travel often and pack well and want to help you do the same. I have now been to 88 countries and all seven continents and I've done it all with a carry-on bag. So whether I am doing luggage reviews, telling you about travel essentials or helping you pack, I am your girl, let's be friends. And do make sure to follow us on Instagram too because I have a ton of tips and tricks for you on there that aren't necessarily on YouTube. All right, let's pack. This is like my 15th time packing on this trip, I swear. Oh yeah, do you like my flower crown? <laughs> but first some mango juice. Future editing Lauren here, and you guys are gonna notice that uh, that bag right there is not the same bag that I packed in my packing for Tahiti video. I totally switched my bag at the last minute because that Calpac bag was too small and I didn't like it and I used this one instead. Review coming soon. <sighs> All right, so while I'm repacking, let's talk about what I used and what I didn't use. And right now I'm in kind of the bikinis and undergarments portion and I did honestly use every single one. I used every single bikini, every single sarong, I used every single pair of underwear and washed them and I even bought more sarongs. Well, I was in a bathing suit every single day except for yesterday and the only reason I wasn't in a bathing suit yesterday was because I got a tattoo and I can't get wet right after you get a tattoo. Bathing suits, Bora Bora, necessary. Now this is my packing key with all of my clothes and dresses. Let's talk about what I wore and what I didn't wear. I did wear every single shirt that I packed. I know you guys had some comments about them all being plain color and crop top, and I like having bigger things on the bottom and tighter things on top. That's just how I dress for my body. Let's talk about the dresses real quick. To be perfectly honest, you guys, I didn't dress up once. I wore this dress in a get ready with me video to go to the Haiva festival pretty much only because I was doing a get ready with me video. I probably wouldn't have even really worn the dress and I did wear this one for a little photo shoot. People don't really dress up to go to dinners and everything here. Maybe if I were staying at a fancy resort, but I did buy a couple of dresses. I thought this one was so cute and I did actually wear it yesterday and I ended up buying this one. The tops that I wore the most are probably honestly 
any of these tops that kind of have a built-in bra. When I would wear a bikini and shorts to go on an excursion, and then afterwards when you know you're not swimming anymore, I would just put this top on over and take the bikini top off from underneath, and it was just super, super easy. And then these are my extra pair of shorts. Obviously I packed this pair, the pair that I'm wearing. I did end up wearing shorts all the time. I would have definitely brought a couple more pairs of these in my wardrobe. Now, my snorkel mask, when I was on an excursion that included snorkeling, obviously they gave you a snorkel and a mask and fins. However, there's a lot of times where you're on public beaches where there's beautiful coral right there and there's nobody selling masks and snorkels to go in the water. So I definitely love that I used mine. I actually let some other people borrow it as well. Um, my little hair extension ponytail, I did wear that in my toiletries video, but did not end up wearing it ever besides that video. This is my towel. I used that every single day. So definitely having one of these and maybe even having two. It packs up super small. I know this is the time that I would put my Aloha bag in the suitcase, but this is what I'm going to walk around with all day. So we are going to keep that out. This is my little bucket hat. I wore it a couple of times, but not really. I definitely ended up wearing this hat a lot more. I don't know why, just probably a style preference. And I do need to wear this on the plane. I did buy this little hat, but I will have to pack it. I might even wear it around today. All right, let's shove these in here. All right, so let's talk about something funny real quick. On every single blog that I read about coming to Tahiti, Morea, and Bora Bora says, you have to wear bug spray at night because the mosquitoes are horrible. So I brought these bug spray wipes and other bug spray wipes and better smelling bug spray wipes. I didn't have any experience with mosquitoes whatsoever. All right, as for the rest of this bag, let's go ahead and wear my flower crown because I paid 20 bucks for it and I wanna wear it and it's fresh flower and I can't take it home. This is my toiletries bag. I ended up doing a what's in my toiletries bag video and that's the only time I really used anything in it. I used my deodorant, I used my sunscreen, I didn't wear any makeup, and I hated my shampoo bar and conditioner. Hear me out, I absolutely loved them at home. When trying them out on my hair, I thought they were great, I thought they were even better than liquid shampoo, but when you're swimming and snorkeling in salt water every single day, and your hair is just a totally crazy mess. I'm sorry, but the shampoo and the conditioner bars were not good enough. Maybe I'm a little bit too picky as a hairstylist. And I ended up using kind of the natural Tahitian shampoo anyway, and used conditioner that I ended up bringing from home just in case I wasn't gonna like the shampoo bar. I can't show you that because I did use it all. I brought them in little packets that you can throw away. I did not wear any makeup at all except for when I filmed in the What's in My Toiletries bag video. This is my purse. I did end up using this just a little bit, but if not, I did use my Aloha bag. I did end up only reading one book. Jewelry, I did not end up wearing any of the jewelry I packed at all. This I will need on the plane. So let's pack a little what I'm going to wear later. A sweater, pants, and the hat that I'm gonna wear on the plane. We're gonna put these in here. This is not a bag I'm bringing home. This is just a grocery store from the local market. Eating out was extremely, extremely, extremely expensive on all three islands. I'm talking like $27 for a salad and $5 for a soda. So, I grocery shopped a lot. And then this is my Aloha mid pouch that is waterproof. And I did use this a lot when I went on excursions. This had my change of clothes in it that were dry so I could put that on and then I would put my wet bathing suit in here afterwards. I have this one, this one right here, which is the big tote, which I used every single day. And the little small one was my wallet and it was just very nice because whether I had cash or whether I bought little souvenirs, everything was in here and I'm still using this as my wallet. 
I also have this little fan that I bought, but I wanted to buy it and it's going to pack up super nice and easy in there. And that's basically it when it comes to this suitcase. Now, let's talk about this suitcase real quick. You guys probably saw the video where I packed for this trip and you're gonna notice that this bag is not the same bag. It's kind of the same color, but it is not the same bag. Before I left, I was emailing with the company Hayes because I wanted to try their air light luggage and they sent it to me as well as the packing cubes that you guys saw me packing in. And to my surprise, it showed up before the trip. And the second that I unboxed it, I said, oh my gosh, I think I need to use this for Tahiti instead. So I took every single thing out of the Cal pack and put it into here and I still had so much more room and when I weighed it, it ended up being so much lighter than the cow pack. So I immediately switched it. I didn't have time to refilm because I literally packed this the day that I was leaving and I've been really, really happy with it. As soon as I get home, I will be doing a full review just like my total normal review, but this time it will be used. I also did have to check this twice because on Tahiti Air, they do make you check your carry-on bag. Now the only thing left to do is pack my personal item, which is pretty much packed. I did clip this water bottle on with this little clip because this water bottle constantly started to fall out. When this bag is totally packed. It is very heavy. If I'm walking on the airport like this, I'm completely fine. If I have to carry this on my shoulder or crossbody, it was way too heavy for me and I'm a very strong person. So the only other thing we have today is everything that I need to walk around, which is basically sunglasses, a book, sarong, camera gear, hat, and snacks. Gotta have snacks. My plan for the rest of the day is just to have a little bit of a picnic and sit and read my book all day. Um, I do wanna do a total full breakdown about this trip eventually, you know, everything that I spent and all of that. So if you're interested in that, comment down below because it's very interesting, you know? There's definitely ways to be cheaper in French Polynesia, but then there's other things that are simply unavoidable and exactly why what I would do, exactly what my itinerary was. I can do a blog post too so that you guys can, you know, click on all the places that I stayed and stay there too because I can say my flights were free with miles and points on credit cards, but the part that I'm most proud of is that I spent 12 nights here and all 12 nights only added up to $2,000. Whereas one night in an over the water bungalow is $2,000. And I did not stay in crappy places. This is kind of like my airport hotel, if you will. So I don't really count this towards one of the nice places, but there's nothing really wrong with it either. I do feel like I stayed in some luxurious places. Just because I didn't stay in an over the water bungalow resort doesn't mean that I stayed in crappy places. My places were amazing wait till you see the place i stayed in in bora bora the patio that i had was bigger than my house the best place i think i've ever stayed in my life it was so 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 magical all right guys i have to go get out there and play it's my last day in tahiti i don't want to be in this hotel room filming anymore i will see you guys when i get home thank you so much for watching maruru is thank you in tahitian see you guys next time bye